Oh my god, part 4! I can't believe I'm still vlogging even though James is back. I guess I just gotten used to the momentum of creating vlogs for you guys and I do enjoy talking to you guys. Today, I'm gonna bring you to... Media. So my dentist, I just got my teeth cleaned right, it's just beside Media, and I realised that they have a lot of good stuff inside there. Like usually, I'll be very intimidated to step inside because, eh, where's the entrance? Okay, the entrance is here. Yeah, I'll be very intimidated to go inside because at the entrance is usually very expensive fruits. These grapes is 89 bucks. Like, will you spend $89 on a pack of grapes? I'm not sure. But I would love to try one day though. So I always had the perception that media is very expensive. And if you want to buy groceries, you will want to go to another place, right? But wrong. I found a lot of good stuff ever since I started shopping here. So let me show you. I'm so excited. I'm being like a number one housewife here. I feel like the quality of their produce, the fruits and vegetables are all very fresh. And it's not very pricey, it's just the premium fruits that make me have the perception that okay, Maria might be overpriced but no. I just kept rambling and rambling along, I forgot. Uh, anyway, welcome back to my channel, I'm Nicole and if you have not subscribed, do click the subscribe button. I'm on the way to find my favourite cherry tomatoes currently and grapes. I hope they have it in stock. Okay, I found it, I found it. I don't know why, but I have the perception that cherry tomatoes on the vines are tastier and fresher. But they indeed are like, These are so crunchy. It's quite a bunch for about 4 bucks. Almost the same price as the ones I usually buy, but much, much tastier and much, much fresher. Okay, I found the grapes. These are also not pricey compared to the ones at the entrance. A huge box like that. They go by weight, right? This one is only $6. And it's super sweet, crunchy, and seedless. I feel like people are judging me because I'm like a Seattle boy here vlogging in the supermarket, right? Very skin, but it's okay. I want to test out how don't seek any money. Remember the previous vlog, I bought a crate of blueberries. I realized that in stores, right, that particular brand of blueberries, freaking expensive. Oh my god, should I get strawberries too? It's date night tonight! <laughs> Are you excited? Okay, it's not very excited because we have been going on date nights for the past 8 years so whatever but tonight's date night is different because it's the first official date night after he has come back so it's important to me. I'm gonna dress up, help me decide what to wear. Oh yeah, so we are going to a place that I've always wanted to try called Rapu. Apparently, they have really good ratings and I want to go and see whether it lives up to its hype. Or what is the hype? How come I need to book two weeks in advance leh? Why is it so popular? Why is it so So I want to go and chew to find out also. So wait. Before all that, we need to decide. Contestant number one. I got this cute dress. Casual, comfy. Contestant number two. It's a little bit more formal. I was planning to save this for a wedding, but my upcoming wedding is only maybe at the end of the month. But is it too much? Is it too much for a dinner? Last choice. Oh, yeah, I kiss the mic. This will be this purple dress. It's a halter neck and it's padded. But I'm afraid that it's a little tight. So if I eat too much, my belly is gonna show. Let me ask James what he thinks. Choice one. Choice two, choice three. Two. Two? I have changed. It's kind of cute. Look at it, look at it, look at it. He thinks it's too sexy. Let me change to my second option. Outfit. Number two. Turn around. I think it's alright. Okay. Pass. Okay, pass. Okay, obviously, we have to put on the present that he got me. Ooh, it matches the outfit. Cute. like a hand roll bar where they specialize in hand rolls over here so i ordered the non-spicy one and james ordered the spicy one we're gonna share cheers, cheers. 
we just finished our dinner at Rapu. Overall, it wasn't that bad actually. So it's six rolls for forty-two dollars, and then you get to try a variety of flavors. I it's think a very edgy experience. You know, the whole vibe of the place is very full of neon lights and like all the heavy the music. Bass, yeah. music. Something you won't expect in a Japanese restaurant, and every single roll had a different tasting note. So that was interesting. Can try lah, can try. Okay. We are back in the kitchen and today I'm going to show you how I make my ginger turmeric shots. It's very good for health because it helps with like your immunity, your skin. It reduces inflammation, correct, correct. So basically, if you're feeling sick, you think like you're coming down with a flu or something, just one shot and you will immediately feel better. I also bought little 60ml bottles like this to store my shots and then I can freeze it and if I want to drink right, then I defrost. And because I juice my celery in the morning, right? In order not to waste the washing and everything, I will juice the ginger turmeric shot after or maybe like make a juice. So I feel like, okay, washing this whole damn juicer is worth it. What you need is obviously ginger and then lemon and choose your fruit, either orange or apple. The part I don't like the most is removing the skin from the ginger because it's so damn tedious. If anybody knows a better solution on how to do this, I tried the peeler thing also but it doesn't work as well as a knife because it's not as precise. I mean, you do not need to remove all the skin thoroughly, but just try your best to remove it. Next, lemons. About 2-3 to three lemons depending how many shots you want to make. The amount I'm making today is about 9 or 10 shots. And the lemons that I buy from my supermarket downstairs, they don't really have very large seeds, which is what I like. I'm gonna do like two orange and two apples because I just want a variety of taste. Okay, after that you have to sieve it. This is the part I suck at the most because my aiming is not very good. Maybe I need to get a different kind of sieve because, you know, it's a bit far. <laughs> Woo! The consistency is very thick so you need to pour slowly. And you can see all the pulp left behind. You can squeeze it. Now that you got your precious concoction here, you're gonna add the turmeric and black pepper inside. Okay, we're all done making the ginger turmeric shots. It looks something like that, really cute. All you need to do is store it in the freezer. You can defrost it overnight to drink in the morning on an empty stomach. Oh my god, I got so many! I'm on my way to go buy my favourite dumplings! This is the place that I always go to because their dumplings, in my opinion, is so 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 good. It's juicy, flavourful and it just packs a punch in that little dumplings. It's the Chinese kind of dumplings, not the zongzi kind lah. And I'm also planning to get some for my friends because I'll be meeting them in the next few days. Then they can try my favourite dumplings! Okay, now I'm at the shop and James just told me to packet one packet of dumplings for him also. Honestly, it's like five times better if you eat it straight from the shop or if you have them cook it for you. I don't know whether it's their technique or the oil that they use but whatever they are doing, they are doing it right. And behind me is a plant shop and this plant shop works on trust system. You just take whatever plant you want and then you pay to their pay now, yeah. Oh my god! I'm very juicy. Do you see the juice just pumped out like that? It is so juicy. Okay. Basically, a bit like a shallow pao in a dumpling form because there was so much stuff inside. I hope you got it. A lot of stuff, right? Mm. Uh, dumpling delivery. Hi. I got um something exciting to share with you guys. Basically, I got invited to a revolve party. If you don't know what a revolve party is, is a fashion brand that is very nice. 
And I've been looking at other creators wear their clothes for the longest time ever. For example, Jenim used to do a lot of vlogs for them and they would like go to different places and experience different things in their outfits. I always thought to myself from back in the days while watching Jenim's vlogs, right? When will it be my turn to wear those chill clothes? And now it's actually my turn to be the one wearing the chill clothes and going to their happening events. Honestly, I can't believe it. I'm so thankful to be given this opportunity. Okay, okay, wait. I'm digressing and blabbering on too much. I will just show you guys the clothes that I picked out for the event. And, ooh, they just got sent to me because we only got to pick this online. So I'm not sure how the cutting is like. And hopefully it fits. Today we are at a photo shoot for Star Life. You can see there's a lot of things going on. Over there, Wong Qinghe is paying his top hit. Chao suai la! It used to be called CB Show, right? But they are rebranding into Star Life, and occasionally I do like live streams on their platform also. And this is my hair and makeup for today. I did it. I did it. Ah! My first Chanel bag. I've been on this like line of should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? Even in Copenhagen, when I went into the store, luckily, luckily they didn't have the design that I want. If not, I would have did it. Yeah. Look, look at Moon, look at Moon. What are you doing there? As I was saying, right, luckily in Copenhagen, when I went into the Chanel store, they didn't have the design that I wanted. But in Singapore, I found one on my wish list. What am I waiting for, right? What am I waiting for? Just... Just YOLO and timing was just right because I can use it for my upcoming events which is perfect. Let's unbox it together. Ta -da! So the one that I wanted is with the adjustable strap, the pearl crush one because I'm really small. The usual ones are a bit too long for me, it doesn't look good on my body but with the adjustable one, it's I was wondering whether I can put my camera inside or not. Can walk! Today is day two of Revolve around the world. Actually, it's the last night. There were three nights of partying in total. I only went for two because I had other commitments. Today is the closing party, so everybody is required to dress in red. We are here at the Revolve event! So amazing! Today, we are bringing Moon Moon to go swimming for the first time. Moon Moon is very curious because he hasn't been to this place before. So here we are! Oh my god, is this a real lizard? It's a dried lizard. It's dead there. Okay? Yeah, I think it's this one. Oh, it's so cute. Can walk, yeah, eh? you can walk. Oh, okay. water. Are you ready? No, hi, hi. Put on, on top first. Good job! Good job! <laughs> shivering, shivering, shivering. Whoa, okay, we finally finished swimming. How is it, Mumun? 
Oh my, are you okay? <laughs> I think he's super, super tired. We swam for about an hour ish. No, it's the first time to do everything, right? I think he did very well because he picked it up like a natural. I mean, all dogs can swim naturally, right? But I was quite surprised like, that he wasn't as scared as I thought he would be. Yeah, he was very calm. He's just observing his surroundings and then trying to stay afloat. So we went to Wet and Wild and it's all the way in Jurong. You have to buy a ticket online first to check the time slot, yada yada yada. And you have one and a half hours, you have to bring your own uh, towel, washing stuff and even hair dryer. So just to let you guys know if you are planning to come lah. Yeah, I think I'll end my vlog here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!